I am heading to the premium outlet mall again because I gotta get a tax refund. Didn't bring my passport with me yesterday, so I have my passport with me now. Bit of a trip to get there, like an hour, but I'll get 50 bucks back, so I think that's worth it. All right, I am back this time to get some money back, not to spend money. There are surprisingly a lot of people here, even though it's a Thursday morning. I guess people took time off and came with their families. I don't know. Oh right, I forgot. Uh, today is a holiday. That's why there are so many people here with their families. That makes sense. Shit, I just ended up buying another jacket. A jacket that has caught my attention. Uh, man. I am slur splurging a bit. I'm leaving and look at all these cars that are entering. They're all going into the outlet store. Huge parking lot building here. I supersized this drink for $1.50 and it is absolutely massive. It's uh, misukaru. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, I like it. And I made it less sweet too. This is kalbi again. <laughs> have, having it with my grandmother. My favorite kuksujang or for a third time this <laughs> this day in Korea. Oh my god, I'm so full. That was so good. <laughs> oh my god. I am so stuffed. It is almost difficult to breathe. Both my grandmother and I ate so much. Oh, too much food. I rested for an hour at my grandmother's place and now I'm walking to Rodeogari, which is a popular shopping street area. Yep, there are a lot of people lining up for some salt bread. This is Rodeogari. Not super crowded, but there are some people here and there. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong places because it's kind of a maze here. But there wasn't really much to see. It wasn't much of a shopping district. Or at least it didn't seem like there were that many stores. Anyway, so just a lot of restaurants, I guess. A bit disappointing. I think this is where my friend recommended the Einspanner, Einspanner. Oh, it looks closed because it's a holiday. Yep. It looks closed. That's a bummer. She said the Einspanner here is so good. This thing you see right here. I am too full to eat anything, even my favorite hot dog. Uh, the Tom Dixon Cafe is out of ingredients for the orange Bianco again. Oh man, I was looking forward to the iced orange latte, but Oh well. See that long line of cars? Oh my gosh, it's 5 o'clock and traffic is so bad over here. I've never seen it this bad in my three week stay here. It is 19 degrees Celsius and I'm still sweating because of the uphill incline walking home. Oh. At least it's 19 degrees and not 30 degrees, like it was last week. Almost home. Almost there. You will never see table tennis in North America unless it's the Olympics or something, but here they play it all the time. Future Paul speaking here back in Toronto, Canada. So you, bought, you saw me bought that jacket earlier in the outlet mall, and you might be thinking, so what does this Jill Stewart jacket look like, Paul? And first of all, I never heard of Jill Stewart in my life until I went to that outlet mall. Apparently it's a New York brand. I guess they don't really sell it here in Canada. Anyways, let me put it on for you.
So I've been wearing this since I got back. My grandmother told me to wear a scarf with this always so that I don't get the neck dirty because the neck is the part that always gets dirty first. So I've been doing that. You'll see a scarf that I get in uh, the, the one of the, the last day of my Korea trip. I've been wearing that along with this jacket. We lost and found Tigger today. He, we usually let him out into the backyard, but this time he just disappeared. And so we looked everywhere for him, couldn't find him. And I kept looking and calling for him. And then I heard him meow, his meow. And he was under the fence, behind the fence, uh, on the other side, on the, on the other, another house. And so uh, I called him and he crawled through after a little while. And so I brought him in. I'll let him go. He wants to go now. We lost you, Tigger. Oh, <laughs> oh don't go missing, Tigger. Ah, that was a scary moment. This week will be the final few days of my Korea vlog. So I'm actually looking forward to being done with my Korea vlog and moving on to some more topical videos. Um, my usual videos instead of just a daily travel vlog like so yeah looking forward to making those after this week's vlogs are all uploaded so i'll see you tomorrow one percent better every day baby